I hate losing to the Senators. The Ottawa Senators defeat the Montreal Canadiens on Hockey Night in Canada 4-3 in overtime thanks to a absolutely greasy shot posting in from Mark Stone. What a finisher he is, first of all. Absolutely fantastic player. Um, now to start this game, I thought the Montreal Canadiens came out flying. They were playing fantastic and it was the start they needed to be able to beat this Sens team. And I'll tell you why shortly. So to start the game, Domi gets a power play goal. Nice to see the power play generate some offense. That was a really good power play from the Montreal Canadiens. Lots of very nice plays. It seems like they're, seem like they're opening up some ice there. Domi ends up getting the goal. Drouin with the assist. Uh, and then Deneau with a beautiful finish after a nice play from Byron and Lekkonen. Nice little touch pass from Lekkonen. And uh, Byron gets the, the pass across to Deneau and he finishes it. Beauty play. Uh, then Stone comes back to make the game 2-1 off a uh, neutral zone turnover. This is where the Sens um, are the are the are one of the best teams in the league at playing the system, the, the shutdown trap, neutral zone system. They generate a turnover, and uh, Domi feels some pressure, so he kind of passes the puck back to Alsner. A lot of people are going to want to blame Alsner on this play. Uh, he did have a bad turnover, but if Domi doesn't feed that that pass down to him in the first place, uh, he's not put into the position to make the bad play that he did. Um, so Alsner has the, the turnover, and Stone ends up cashing in on it and making the game 2-1. Then Byron comes back. Another nice play uh, from the Habs here. Caught Kinyemi on the half fall. Uh, gets the puck, tips it over to Armia, who then slides it across crease over to Byron, who finishes the play. So we go into the second with a 2-1 lead. I thought... Uh, or a 3-1 lead. I thought the Habs played a great first period, but the game started to be uh, more similar to one of those Ottawa Senators boring-ass neutral zone trap games into the second and third period. It seemed like they maybe weren't uh, ready for the speed that Montreal was going to come with straight out of the gate. And then uh, that once they got comfortable with the pace of the game, they uh, implemented their system a lot better. And basically just Montreal couldn't get through the neutral zone. They had the puck the most of the time starting starting the plays. Uh, but they just couldn't get through, through the neutral zone, which made the defenders have to carry the puck and make plays down low a lot more often, which led to them having some uh, turnovers and a bit of a rough night for the Montreal Canadiens' defense. Um, so, yeah, it... Once the second and third kicked in, uh, the Ottawa Senators just capitalized on the chances that they had. They got a goal on the power play uh, from uh, Duchesne. Um, and they also got a nice goal from Michael Bodker where he read Carey Price quite, rel quite well. Uh, Carey Price was a little aggressive on the play there, went to go for the poke check when Bodker was coming down the wing. Bodker read it, and as soon as he hit that red line, he got a goal from a very nice angle. It was just behind the net, actually, behind that red line, and he tips it off Carey Price's back, who's leaning forward. So, uh, yeah, and then we go to the third, and Carey Price absolutely keeps us in this hockey game with some incredible saves, uh, especially that sequence where he had, I think it was three saves, the last one being a major desperation one, which led to some panic and a big pile up in the crease but beautiful play from price tonight uh after the the rough goal on bodker he kept us in this game because we had no business being in it after that uh awful third period from the montreal Canadiens. we end up getting the point out of it and usually that's a bit of a consolation prize uh in a game but uh not against the ottawa senators you don't want to Oh man, that was a game we could have won having that lead early. Just had to really not make mistakes going forward, and they and they did. So we end up in going into overtime. And uh, right now, I gotta say, I have a bit of a love hate relationship with Jonathan Drouin because he's doing some really good things out there, showing some really nice skill, but it just seems like he's trying to do a little bit too much, and it's just not quite working out for him right now. He's generated a bit of offense in the last couple games, but. Uh, Especially this game, there's a, a few mistakes and a few turnovers you'd like to have back, right? Um, one thing I do have to say, caught Kaniemi sticking up for Price in the overtime there when Price got a little bump. Caught it comes in, gets a little feisty. Love to see it. It's important to note he has two games left before he hits the nine-game threshold where it's likely that he'll stay for the whole season. 
Rumors are, uh, uh, experts are saying it's likely he is going to stay and that, that decision has apparently been made. I don't know about that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but he definitely still looks comfortable out there. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it if he does stay the, the whole season. Uh, so Montreal was absolutely outmatched again in the faceoff dot tonight. And uh, in the in the overtime, that really hurt them. They couldn't win the faceoffs in overtime and get that first bit of possession, which is very important. Um, so yeah, like, tough game for the defense. Hopefully Mete can return. Uh, not that Alsner has been bad, but I think we're really missing that one-two punch on the left side with speed from Riley and Mete. Riley's there, so he's kind of carrying the load right now for the puck movement on the left side. It'd be nice to get Mete back in and uh, and have that threat too. And maybe a couple of games off did, did him some good. Um, Delorier played tonight. Wasn't overly impressed with his game. He brought a bit of a physical edge, but I kind of prefer what Charles Hudon brings. Or it might be nice to see Nikita Shearback get some time here eventually. So, um, tough loss. Uh, Montreal has the Calgary Flames on Tuesday. That's their next game. Got to be a real tough one. The Calgary Flames uh, have, they got a 4 and 3 record to start the season. Uh, Sean Monahan, Johnny Goudreau, and Matthew Kachuk have been scoring some really nice highlight reel goals, making some nice plays. They're a fast, fast team. And don't forget, they now have James Neal and Noah Hannafin, two new players to their team. Going to be a really tough game. I'll talk to you guys after that one. If you like my videos, please subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Scotian Canadian. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments. Love to chat with you. Cheers, guys. Go Habs, go.